working on long division today. The acronym that I like to use is called Does McDonald's Sell Check-In Burritos? And you'll see why it's check-in in a second. Does and divide both start with D. That's my first step. I'm going to divide first. McDonald's and multiply both start with M's. Sell and subtract both start with S. Check-in instead of chicken because I'm going to check to see if my remainder is larger than my divisor. And burritos means bring down. And when I get through my whole line, I go all the way back up to the top and start again. Divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down. So let's try one out. First problem I have over here is 635 divided by 5. I'm going to take my hand and cover up all the numbers except for the number that's in the highest place in the dividend. So I'm taking 6 divided by 5. How many 5's in 6 without going over? Just 1. 1 times 5 is 5. So I just divided. Next I'm going to multiply. 1 times 5 equals 5. And I'm writing it right there under the 6. Next is to subtract. 6 minus 5 equals 1. When I check, 1 is less than 5, so I'm good so far. I can bring down my 3. And now I'm back to the top where I'm going to divide. The number I wrote right here is what I'm dividing by. 13 divided by 5. So how many 5's? How many 5's in 13? 5, 10, 15. Well, 15 would be too many, so there's only two 5's. 2 times 5 is 10. When I subtract, I've got a 3. 3 is less than 5. When I check, good so far. Bring down my next number, 5. How many 5's in 35? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. There's seven of them. And 7 times 5 equals 35. When I subtract, nothing left. So 635 divided by 5 is 127. Next problem, 801 divided by 3. First step, yep, take your hand, cover up all the numbers except for the first one. So how many 3's in 8 without going over? 3, 6, 9. Nope, 9 would be too many, so 3 is 6. That gives me just 2. Multiply, 2 times 3 equals 6. Next step is to subtract. 8 minus 6 equals 2. Check. 2 is less than 3. Good so far. Bring down my next number, which is a 0. And then I'm back to divide. How many 3's in 20? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. 6 of them. 6 times 3 is 18. When I subtract, I've got a 2. 2 is still less than 3, so when I check, I'm good so far. Bring down my next number. How many 3's in 21? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 7 of them. 7 times 3 equals 21, and when I subtract, I have nothing left over. 798 divided by 2. First step, cover up all my other numbers except the first one. How many 2's in 7 without going over? 2, 4, 6, 8. 8 would be too many, so 2, 4, 6. 3 of them. Move my hand out of the way. 3 times 2 equals 6. When I subtract, I get a 1. I'm going to bring my 9 down. How many 2's in 19? I think it's 8. So let's try. 8 times 2 equals 16. When I subtract, I have 3. Oh, here's a problem. When I go to check, 3 is bigger than 2. That means I could have went with something larger than 8. So I'm going to back up a couple steps here. How many 2's in 19? Some people like to go this way. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Oh, 20 is too much, so how many did I do? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 of them. 9 times 2 equals 18. When I subtract, I get a 1. It's less than 2. I'm good on my check. Bring down my 8. Oh, we just did this. How many 2's in 18? It's still 9. 
So 9 times 2 is 18. When I subtract, nothing left. 861 divided by 7. Take my hand, cover up. How many 7s in 8 without going over? Only 1. Multiply. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract. I've got 1. Check. 1 is less than 7. Yep. Bring down my 6. How many 7s in 16? Well, let's see. 7, 14, 21. 21 is too much, so it must be 2 of them. 2 times 7 is 14. Got a 2. 2 is less than 7 when I check. Bring down my 1. How many 7s in 21? Well, up here we just did the 7s. So this time would be 1, 2, 3. 3 times 7 is 21. When I subtract, there's nothing left. This one's a little trickier. Because when I cover up all the numbers except for 1, I notice that 5 is bigger than 4. So when I say five divided, 4 divided by 5, how many 5's in 4? There's 0. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 0 there and multiply this out. 0 times 5 is 0. When I subtract, I got a 4. 4 is less than 5. So I checked out. Bring my 8 down. How many 5's in 48? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 50 is too much. So I'm going to write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 5 is 45. Subtract, I got 3. 3 is less than 5. Bring down my other number. I can use the same ch chart where I just made the multiples of 5. How many 5's in 30? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 5 equals 30. When I subtract, nothing left. Last one. How many 4's in 372? Again, I'm covering up everything except the, la the first number. How many 4's in 3? Oh, again, it's going to be 0. Move my hand out of the way. 0 times 4 is 0. When I subtract, I've got a 3, which I check. It's less than 4. Bring down my 7. How many 4's in 37? This is when it's good to know that song about the oars. Grab your oars and know your 4's. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44. So, how many until I get to, without going over 37, to right here? That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times 4 equals 36. When I subtract, I got 1 left. When I check, it's less than the 4. Bring down my other number. How many 4's in 12? 1, 2, 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. When I subtract, there's nothing left. So remember, long division. Does McDonald's sell check and burritos? Divide, multiply, subtract, check, bring down, and then do the whole thing over again.